This is the forward spin with a vertical strike. So we're going to take, take a basic forward grip and start here. here what you're going to do is rotate the thigh so your thumb's on the outside. You're going to relax the thumb and your wrist. Bring it around to the outside, close to your ear, and you're going to strike down with the thumb on top. So you want to make sure it's here, not pointed sideways or like that. So you don't want to come around and go like this. You want to make sure your thumb stays on top because you're going to be striking downward and you want that thumb to be reinforcing and adding some strength to that grip. So again, you're going to rotate your thumb to the outside, bring it around, over the top, and strike down. Same thing for the left hand. Your basic grip, relax, let it roll to the outside, come around, and strike down. Just here, and down, just like that. Make sure your thumb is there. This is a forward spin number two. You start with a basic grip, but we're going to change it to an alternate grip. What we're going to do is put our index and middle fingers over the prongs and cover with your thumb. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to do the uh, strike with this. What we're going to do is we're going to let it spin, but you're going to relax here a little bit, relax the thigh, sigh, and let it come over the top and strike. So it's going to be here and strike down. We need to snap that down. What you need to do first is practice. Have the kids practice so they don't lose it. So have them practice spinning and keeping their fingers and thumb in the inside of that, keeping a hold of the sigh. But you need to relax here to let the sigh spin a little bit, right? And what you're going to do, spin it and then snap it down very quickly for the strike. That's it. Just like that. All right? Same thing with the left hand. Middle index finger right there. Right, let the fingers relax so you can spin it around and come down with a strike. Same thing as on the right hand side, let it let them practice spinning it and relaxing their fingers but not letting go of the side the side, not losing it. And then strike down. Right? Work that drill. This is the yin yang sai flip drill. So we're gonna take a basic grip in one and a reverse grip in the other. It doesn't matter which hand is which. So what we're going to do is at the same time, we're going to flip them, All right? So what we're going to do is flip both at the same time and come back to a grip and go back. So it's there to reverse grip, basic grip, and back. So this is something that the kids are going to have a hard time with, doing two things at the same time. But what we want to do is just practice one at a time and flip them back and forth. So single reps. Now, after you've done that, practice that a little bit, have them work on going back and forth for several reps, just like that. This is a strike with an inward grip. So we're gonna get our inward grip, get both sides out, and just get into a little left foot forward uh, stance. Not a big front stance, just enough to have a, a good stance. Now, when we strike, we're gonna strike with the end of, end of the handle, and we're going to chamber the other hand just like we would in traditional punching. So the thing is, when you chamber this left hand, you don't want to keep it like this because they'll stab themselves with the prong. So when we strike, we want to make sure this hand stays here in vertical position on the retraction hand. So it'll be here and back, there and back. And the other part of that is make sure these are pushed, your index fingers are pushing down on the handles to keep the blades against your forearms. Right about that. So this is going to take some practice when they strike both hands. You can switch your feet too if you want and do a reverse punch, a reverse strike to get them used to chambering down here like this. Switch back and you can start punching and letting them get used to continuous motion with punching. This is the basic forward flip strike. So we're going to start with is the inward grip and we're going to bring it out, flip it out to a basic uh, grip and then strike down and then flip it back in. So it's flip to a basic uh, grip, strike down, hit with the blade and flip it back up. Here, bring it back in. There, 
bring it back in, right? Practice that sum on the right hand, and then flip, change to the left. Strike down, flip it back in. Strike down, flip it back in. Come to a basic grip, flip it back in. So they're giving me a flip and then a strike down. So I don't expect it to be fast all the way through. Basically, you're gonna flip it out, then strike down and bring it back in. All right, practice that, both sides. This is the backhand forward flip strike. So we're gonna start with the inward grip. And what you're gonna do is like a back fist here, like you would normally do a back fist, but you're gonna flip it out to a basic grip, strike across, and flip it back in. So flip it out, snap it out, and back in. Practice again, out to a basic uh, grip, strike, and in. So it's basically it's a horizontal strike. Same thing with the left hand, flip it out, strike sideways, and bring it back in. Flip, back in. So it's nice and easy. All right, so practice that, make sure they work both sides. This is a stab from a forward grip. So what we're gonna do is start with an inward grip again, All right? Flip it out, stab around the chest or the neck, and flip it back. So we're gonna flip, stab, bring it back. Make sure when they stab, they pull it back out before they flip it in, All right? So again, flip it out, stab, and flip it back in as you pull out. Because if you stab somebody with it, you can't just flip it back out. You've got to bring it and flip it. Same thing with the left hand, work each side, flip it, stab, bring it out and flip it back in. Same thing, so from the side, look like this. 